تحب البيت بوكس تحب الهيب هوب everybody likes hip hop مين يحبه who likes hip hop يقول تيدكس تيدكس ما عندي غيره اوكي بس تحبه ها انا احبه بس الهيب هوب ريكوايرز يعني you have to have soul you have to have passion you have to have عارف you have to have a beat yeah طيب let's do it do you know how to beatbox yeah I don't, I, I, I don't think you know how to beatbox. I don't think you know how to beatbox. كل مرة بتنسى هذا الشيء غريب. طيب يلا ورد الجمهور الجمهور قدامك. يلا start. You go ahead. No no. ما شاء الله excellent. ما شاء الله excellent. ااا تعرف تسويها؟ يعني شوي أظن. مو مرة؟ A little bit, maybe, just a bit. Do it. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. I try, I try, I try. Who loves the beatbox? He raises his hand. واللي حب البيت بوكس حق زياد. لا لا تقدم والله اكيد حضورنا الكريم احنا عملنا هذا السيناريو الخفيف علشان من جد عندنا اليوم حاجه عن الهيب هوب حضورنا الكريم عن انسان بالفعل انه يحاول جاهد انه يصحح الصوره السلبيه عن الهيب هوب لانه بيجد انه هذا النوع من الموسيقى هي الأكثر قرباً وتواصلاً مع المشاعر الإنسانية طبعاً في الحقيقة الموضوع يعني كبير مرة وفي له تشعبات الهيب هوب بطريقة خيالية عموماً الهيب هوب هي المرآة الواقعية للذات الإنساني حسان طناوي اللي اليوم حنشوفه شاب سعودي بيدعم حركة الهيب هوب العربي وأنشأ أول برنامج إذاعي يعني بالهيب هوب خلونا نرحب عن لحسان لانه حيتكلم لنا عن حاجه حسان ايش انا و... بس جمله قول. حسان عاش ذا ريزن ام هير توداي از ريلي تو انتروديوس حسان الدناوي اند اوبسلي بي امونج ايفريبدي ان واتش تيلكس حسان واتس ذا ريفولت اند ريفولت حسان الدناوي از نوت اونلي فاميلي بت هي سم ون وذ ا لوت اوف باشن وات هي از غانا ديمونستريت از هاو ريلي 100% باشن كان بي تيرند اند تيكن into an entrepreneurial spirit and an entrepreneurial idea. Hassan has a very positive message using hip-hop music, which we all think is all about bad you know, language and, and attitude. But in fact, he's going to shed some light to quite the opposite. He personifies what an entrepreneur is. Please put your hands together. A big round of applause from my guy, Hassan Dinawi. Hassan! Uh, 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 Salam alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. First, it's a great honor to be in TEDx, TEDx Arabia, uh, sharing the stage with like-minded individuals. It's it's a, it's a humbling experience, really. I salute the organizers, the TEDx team, each one of you guys, and it can't get any better than to get an amazing introduction like this from the one and only Ziyad Jarrah, ladies and gentlemen, from Insania. Please give yourself a huge shout out, a clap for coming here supporting real ideas like this. Yep, yep. Okay, so now that we're pumped up, in, in March 2011, I was, alhamdulillah, uh, selected to represent the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, in a media literacy program that took place in the US. It, were, it was my first time there, it was an eye opening experience for me in so many ways. Uh, I was in New York City, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> okay. I was in New York City, ladies and gentlemen, while I was walking with a friend of mine who happened to be a hip-hop journalist, a famous hip-hop journalist. All of a sudden, he noticed a kid and approached him and talked to him, and he said, Hey, kid, when did you get out of the joint? Which means, when did you get out of jail? The kid was around 17, 18 years old. And the kid replied back saying, shockingly, what, 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 what do you mean? I never was in jail. So my friend, the journalist, approached him and said, listen, when you have your pants lowered in a, in a, um, in a way that's uh, very low, 
That means there were some chains that are strapped at the bottom part of your pants. So when you're walking, your pants get lower. All right. This is, this is the image. So, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you this. Is it cool? Is it cool? Is it cool to dress that way? Is it cool to have your pants, uh, to have your pants lowered like that? Okay. Yes, according to the mainstream media that is projecting this image about hip-hop. And for me, it then hit me, ladies and gentlemen, how ridiculous that scene was. When, 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 I, when I saw the, the kid's face, you know, slowly pulling back his, 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 his pants out of embarrassment, giving the, he didn't know what the fashion represented. He thought it's cool, but it didn't represent the fact that you were, you were in jail, you know. So this is very important. Therefore, knowing the essence of any behavior, trend or culture is very, very important to our being. It's crazy how much distortion a pure source can go through. Because this is what hip hop is pure. The mainstream media has been acting like a stereotype factory, diminishing everything that was once pure to materialism. The music, the music industry is bleeding, is, is bleeding fakeness. It's bleeding. And that is why one of the reasons that made me want to start a breathing space that I called Revolt. I wanted to breathe. Basically, Revolt is an online radio, uh, is, is my uh, music radio blog that I started back in September 2009. Uh, I, was, I was sick and worn out from conventional music that's played on the FM radio or TV or artists don't get support, you know, talented artists, underground artists that don't get support that, that, that is needed. A blog came together, one that showcase one that showcases the Arabic, uh, uh, the talented artists, whether it's underground, artists that didn't get a shot to be on, on, on TV or radio. I found in their music and lyrics, awareness, culture, cause. At first, I was in all sorts of genres of music, really. But then I got into hip hop. The only reason I got into hip hop is because of the fact it's misrepresented by the media industry and the music industry. They project the wrong image about hip hop. Hip hop, ladies and gentlemen, is a culture. It's a movement. As a legendary rapper once said, hip means to know, hop means to move. So hip hop is an intelligent movement. It's a conscience movement, ladies and gentlemen. The, thank you. The so-called so hip hop you listen to nowadays is, is, is not real. It's actually stripping away everything that is real about this genre. Money-oriented acts, thirsty for publicity artists, ridiculous lyrics with no flair, really. Hip-hop was actually based, you know, started in the poor areas of New York City in the 1970s. It is a voice of the voiceless. People that have no voice can use hip-hop in a way. The, the hip-hop, the elements of hip-hop, uh, you know, we have four elements of hip-hop. We have MC, we have the DJ, B-boy, and graffiti artists. These elements are nearly gone in every single um, sorry, <laughs> in, every single, in every single music video that we see, we don't see these elements anymore. We see helicopters, cars, champagne, bottles, up. this is not hip-hop, ladies and gentlemen. Hip-hop is universal, it's a bridging culture. And, and us as Arabs, we should be proud that we have a hip-hop movement in the Arab world that talks, about, that talks about what an Arabic feels. It was saturated with empowerment, with revolution, with cause and awareness. Whether it's in English or Arabic, Arabic hip-hop artists sing their concerns, they're paid for a better United Arabia. I'm kind of running a bit out of time. I just wanted to share with you a small, a small piece of, um, of, of a, a part of a track that was composed by a Syrian-American hip-hop artist by the name of Omar Effendim. Um, if you can help me out, because this is not working. <laughs> the track... Okay. Okay, the track said, we always say, uh, the track's name is called Arab Superhero. We always, we always conduct ourselves as, you know, Western superheroes. But there are Arab superheroes, and it is you, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Arab people. The track says, Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. It's an Arab superhero, and he came to bring change. Unite the divided and free them from the chain of the tyrants who reign in vain and pain. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. It's an Arab superhero. Yeah, I know, it sounds strange. 
But the only thing keeping us from going insane is knowing he'll be back again, inshallah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. Hip hop cannot, cannot pass through without giving it attention or a listen. It is an, it's an information to impact, to shock, to aware, to explain, to describe, and to plead. I really thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, hip hop all the way and, and peace. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.